further, let us talk about definition of linear equation in n variable. The linear equation in n variables These n variables, let us define them using x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub n. So x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub n has the form. So we have a linear combination of these terms. We need some numbers like a1 and a2, a3, a4, and an, and a constant term that we call b. So as you can see, there is no multiplication between these variables. They are all added together no multiplication between x sub i's, no sign involved, no cosine involved, no exponential form, a to some power, and so on. These are just linear combination. a1, a2, an, and b are numbers. We call A1 leading coefficient. X1 is called the leading variable. And B is called your constant term. Some examples of linear and nonlinear equations. So linear equations that you saw before in algebra can be written as, for example, 3x plus 2y equals to 5. Or you might have a half x plus square root of 2y minus pi equal to 0. You might see sine of pi over 2, which is a number, times x plus 4y equals to the pure number to power 2. Note that each one of these are numbers. So sine pi over 2 is just 1. So you have a number. And e to power 2 as you remember, e is just a number, and we raise that to the second power is another number. So we can convert this using x sub i or index variables. 3x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2 equals to 5. Or a half x sub 1 plus square root of 2 x sub 2 minus pi equal to zero. Or we can write sine of pi over two times x1 plus four times x2 equals to e to power two. Examples of linear equations. However, note that if I have a multiplication or sine cosine exponential or any combination, it's not going to be linear. So we're going to write it down here, non-linear. For example, if you have x times y plus 2 equal to 0, this is an example of non-linear equation because you have multiplication between two variables. 
Or if you have e to power x minus 2y equals to 4, because you have exponential function here, it's not linear. Or if you have sine x plus 2y equals to 3, these are examples of nonlinear equations. The topic for our course is definition of linear equations and finding the methods of solving them. Nonlinear equations are related to a different course.